There's no reason to, right? Dustin had proposed to her before the explosion of the floating rib. She was moving on. Well, Dustin died tonight, and you're telling me to run to Dante and confess my love to him? Not right this minute, but soon. Is that what you're calling honor my feelings? What about honoring Dustin? All I'm saying is, if you love Dante, and you've already admitted that you do, you have to say it, Lulu. You almost died tonight. And Dante never would have known how you felt. Maxie, hey, what happened? Uh, sorry, I was just thinking, you know, Lulu would want you to be happy. She would totally understand your relationship with Sam. I don't know what to tell her about the relationship or... Uh, all I'm saying is don't, don't hide your feelings because you think Lulu can't handle it. We've all made that mistake and it always ends up being a disaster. You're right. You're right. I, I have done that in the past with Lulu and it was a mistake. I'm not gonna do that this time around. I'm gonna do better for Rocco's sake. Lulu, and talk to her and hear her talk back. Don't worry, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Just remember she's been through a lot. I know. She's home. Yeah, she is. You know, it was so great seeing him look at her, talking to her, taking in every detail. My son has his mom back. I'm just so thankful for that. Okay. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoons Like. So we saw our favorite little boy in the world whole wide world james he was back on the screen today and uh james uh was basically getting trying to you know his mother was trying to get a confirmation from that are you sure this is the woman that you saw and james was a hundred percent dead sure and, and james himself found out today that that was his aunt lulu as well so he was a uh, very uh very much very much um surprised about that uh had he known it, the whole situation would have been a lot different which is crazy too uh that's the craziest thing about that whole situation with lulu man but uh yeah so that's how that went down man and um yeah that's a that was a crazy thing but that's how that went down now she told james to get gets cookies that she made some calls to make call to mac and then dante came in and Dante pretty much confirmed to Maxie that Lulu is alive and all of that stuff. <laughs> Maxie is so funny, man. She at first she was like, "How was it? I one of the first people that either Lulu came to or found or I found out about her. Like, am I that far down the totem pole?" <laughs> Remember, Lulu found out that Maxie was the one that painted her fingernails because she was like, she had looked at her fingernails. She's like, somebody did my fingernails, <laughs> and she knew it was Maxie like right away. I can't wait until those two. To see each other in person, man. Uh, hopefully we see that in a couple of days or whatever. But, um, yeah, man. So, the conversation moved along. And it got more towards an uh, 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 interesting part of the conversation where Maxi told Dante to make sure that he's not hiding his grief when he's around Lulu. Because... You know, obviously, he probably don't want Lulu feeling some type of way, but Lulu definitely understands, like, look, Dante just lost Sam. Lulu actually just found out, we're going to go over that in one of the next couple of videos, that Sam uh, died after giving her her transplant. So, she's definitely going to totally understand if, like, Dante still needs to grieve when he's around her. And we know Dante, being a tough guy as he is, he's going to try to hide it, so... I'm glad Maxie told him that because he needs to know that you shouldn't hide your grief around her. And I'm pretty sure Maxie will talk to her as well about that. Um, but but Lulu Lulu was not going to stop Dante from grieving though. But he's going to feel like he's got to be strong when he's around her. So, but uh, but I am glad that you know Maxie relayed that message. 
to Dante since he is still grieving himself, man. So, really good scenes between those two today. Really love seeing them, man. Um, I'm glad. I'm actually kind of glad Maxie got a chance to see Dante before she saw Lulu. Kind of got some things cleared up for her. Some questions she don't really got to answer. Ask her and stuff like that now when she gets when she sees her for the first time. So, um, that that was a really good conversation. So I'm glad Dante uh, went over there, man, and uh, cleared everything up. So, good conversation there, man. So, give me your thoughts here, man. What y'all thought of this conversation? Give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the light.